And we welcome you back to On the Beat, everyone. Isaac hosting again this week. And rejoining me this week is uh, Patrick Wooten, the managing partner for Richard Swartz and Associates. Patrick, welcome back. Good, good to see you again, Isaac. All right, so last week we were a little broad, yep. uh, and now we want to kind of focus in on some more specific cases that uh, you folks may handle. Yeah. And in this case, potentially uh, focusing on potentially the biggest mistakes mm -hmm. people may or may not intentionally make <laughs> That's right. when they're navigating through a court case. So first off, uh, a client represent or hires you to represent yep. and uh, what kinds of things um, uh, can they do uh, that could potentially negatively affect the outcome of that case? Yeah, one of the biggest ones is social media. Everyone okay. uses social media, but yes. it's posting about the accident. You know, they've been injured, they are going to a doctor, but yet they go to Walt Disney World or they go to, to the beach and they're taking, you know, pictures there with the insurance company or if we ever had to file a lawsuit, the lawyer that the insurance company retains is going to ask for all of your social media login information mm -hmm. and they're going to go through that history to see, you know, did Isaac say he was hurting and couldn't do anything, but yet here he is, you know, riding Space Mountain at Walt Disney sure. World. So they're going to use that to understand undercut your case. So social media is a biggie. Yeah, so you mentioned that uh, that can be used later because technically it's in the moment it's not illegal or That's harmless right. to post, yep. but it could come back and haunt you Absolutely. after the fact. All right, so once you are hired as well, mm -hmm. uh, how actively uh, part of the case does the client become at that point? Yeah, that's a great question. And the client is intimately involved with the case um, because they are the ones who know exactly how their body feels. They're the ones who are having to express to the doctors, these are the injuries that I have. This is how I'm feeling different since the wreck happened. So it's vitally important that the client is involved is communicating to the law firm and really more so is communicating properly to the doctor that's what a big thing people don't think about is mm -hmm. sharing with the doctor hey i was in a wreck and my back hurts now or my knee hurts now or my left big toe because they may be so focused on oh my back my back my back and then months go by when their back feels better and they go oh doc by the way my knee's been hurting <laughs> since the wreck and yeah. it's six months later and the insurance company immediately big red flag flying there sure. that why didn't you tell the doctor about that early? Obviously, and you know, I know you're not a medical professional yep. per se, but uh, obviously I think you would recommend uh, folks go to the doctor as soon as possible after some sort of injury, correct? Absolutely. You, your body is the one telling you if you're feeling pain or you're feeling issues that you didn't have beforehand. We mm -hmm. hope everyone can get well with one visit to the doctor, sure. but unfortunately that doesn't happen. But go get checked out because unfortunately the good Lord's only given us one body and you want to make sure that you are taking care of that body and getting well. S similar to your Disney uh, example yep. and comparison, what if somebody waited maybe three weeks before they went to the doctor, could the insurance company then come back and say, well, why did you wait three weeks? That, that's a great question that happens, and that's getting right into that gray area. Sure. Um, you and I don't really like to, guys, especially men, yeah. don't like going to the doctor. We're going to tough it out. We're going to take over-the-counter medications, but it's just really important. Go get checked out. Hopefully, it's a very minor injury that you have, and you can get well, but any delay that's there can have a big negative impact on your case at the end. And that could get us into our last question here. What mistakes uh, do clients make potentially before they even hire you? It, it's giving a statement to the insurance company. Okay. It's getting on the phone. Oh, I'm not hurt at all. Telling the police officer at the scene I'm not hurt. Or more importantly, not calling the police to the scene. Sure. Always, always, always get the get law enforcement there so there can be a report. Because that, of course, becomes a matter of a public record. Absolutely. You know, and, and can be admitted yep. uh, into law at that point. Yes. Anything else you want to add I mean, uh, on this particular uh, topic? Yeah, we're here for you. You know, been around, so it's really important. We'd love to represent folks. So if you're in a wreck, you know what to do. Just call us. One call that. That's all. All right. Great advice there, Patrick. We sure appreciate it. And if you would like some additional uh, information from today's segments, you can, of course, uh, find all of that and more on the uh, information there listed on your screen. We'll be back after this.